Seemingly firm deadline to clear out Rindell Park has come and gone. Tonight, tonight there is confusion over if homeless people really do need to leave. Some remain and don't plan to go anywhere until they hear something more concrete. Jamie Perez went back to Rindell today and she has more. Jamie. All right, well, there's still about a dozen or so people staying here at Rindell Park, and the city told me that they're not going to force anybody out at this point, but they are asking them to consider other options. Signs telling people to clear out of Rindell Park in Madison tell one story. The people living here are telling another. They're trying to figure out when it's, you know, actually appropriate to come and clean up, and we're totally willing to work with that, but it's just, uh, there's... I think more than one communication breakdown. James DeGray and other homeless people say there's confusion as to where they can legally stay. He said the city has come by to clean up any abandoned campsite since its order to clear out the park by Sunday. But for the most part, crews have left those still here alone. I'll walk along with them, check out each tent, show them, yep, no, nope, people are here, this guy's over there, this guy's over here, this lady's here. And then they came to the conclusion of they, there's nothing that they can be removing today. In a statement, the city's community development director, Jim O'Keefe, said Rindle Park is no longer an authorized temporary permissible encampment site. The Starkweather Creek site remains available for people wishing to camp outdoors, but encouraged people to find other options. Community advocates have come to Rindle to strongly oppose the new Starkweather location. These people are from our communities, and they've been moved around, you know, three or four times throughout the year and that only causes trauma. They say the new location is away from resources and not a viable place for any person to sleep. This is an issue we can and should solve as a community. The city will reopen discussion of whether or not to keep temporary encampments like the one at Rindle Park open to the public at its May 18th meeting. Until then, James and his friends say they're here to stay. No way to actually make plans yet because on the 18th is the common, city common council referendum meeting that actually decides whether Rindall stays open or closed. That new park location is about a 10 minute drive from this location here at Rindall Park. The city is asking all the folks who are currently staying here to please relocate there if they choose to continue staying outdoors. But as I mentioned, many of them say they're going to wait for the final decision at the May 18th council meeting before they decide where they can go. Well, Jamie Perez live at Rindall Park tonight. Jamie, thank you.